Hello and welcome back. I am Gayatri from Kalnari Nirvana. Today I am going to share leftover pumpkin soup pasta. It's a one pot meal. It has black beans. It has my favorite pumpkin soup. The recipe is on my website and it has some really delicious flavors. It's very healthy, very easy to make and is zero waste. So let's get started. Right, so to make this leftover pumpkin soup pasta, I have my golden pumpkin soup. You can find the recipe on my website. And this is about 425 milliliters of it. And I have also saved some water because we need some water to cook the pasta. And I have one very small onion, which is one fourth cup of onion sliced. Uh, this is 250 grams of penne, uh, some garlic, about six, seven cloves of garlic sliced, some chilies, uh, <clears throat> about 10, cherry tomatoes and one can of black beans this is optional you can use whichever beans you have and for seasoning i'm going to use some pepper some chili flakes and some chilies right so my pot is quite hot i'm going to add very little olive oil and half of this garlic This is an optional step, but I like to do it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just uh, brown this garlic and uh, fish it out. I'm going to keep this aside for garnishing. Right, as you can see, my garlic is nice and brown. I'm going to just fish it out and keep it aside. Right, so in the same pan, I'm going to add some more olive oil. Now make sure you don't add too much because your pumpkin soup will also have some fat. So my pumpkin soup has just a little bit of golden ghee. And now I'm going to add all of this garlic and the chilies in there. Saute this till the chili and garlic is nice and fragrant for about 30 to 40 seconds. Right, it has been about 40 seconds. Now I'm going to add the onion. I'm using onion because I had some leftover onion chopped in my fridge and I had to finish it. I wouldn't usually use onion in this recipe. However, the pumpkin soup has some shallots. So I thought, why not use it? I'm just going to add a little bit of salt in there. Make sure that you don't over salt your dish because the soup has some salt. And saute this for just one to two minutes. Right, so it has been about two minutes and my onion is nice and sauteed. Now I'm going to add the cherry tomatoes in there. Just give it a mix and cook it for just 30-40 uh, seconds. At this point you can also add some of your seasoning. For example, I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. Right, so my tomatoes are sauteing here from last 40 seconds. Now I'm going to add the leftover pumpkin soup. I'm going to use the same jug to measure the water. So I'm going to use one and a half cups of water. Right, after adding the water, I'm going to simmer this for just two, three minutes before I add the pasta. Right, as you can see, this soup is simmering. Now I'm going to add the penne in there. And keep the flame on medium low. And right, my pasta is halfway cooked. I'm going to add the black beans in there. You can add whichever beans you need to at this point and I'm going to add half a cup of water. Give it a mix. 
and cook it till the pasta is properly cooked. Right, so it has been about 10 minutes and my pasta is properly cooked. I'm going to add a little bit of cream to give that creamy consistency, creamy texture to this pasta. But this is perfectly fine. If you want to keep it vegan, you can skip the cream or add coconut cream into it. And that's it. This is how I am serving my pasta. I have garnished it with the garlic chips and a little bit of basil. Right, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you give this zero waste recipe a try. If you try my recipes, please don't forget to tag me. And thanks for watching. Stay home, stay safe and bye.